Another aspect that I think is important is that OCD will often look for the uncertainty in our methods we're using to um, develop psychological flexibility or skills to help with OCD, ERP skills, things like that. It'll start looking for, you know, the perfect way to do it, or am I doing it right? Or, you know, should I use this method here or that method there? Or how do I do this? Or what's an obsession? What's a compulsion? Or where should I focus? Or, you know, is this avoidance? Is this distraction? Or is this um, focusing on values, this kind of stuff. It, it might even question values or go, you know, are these really my values? Do I really care about these things? Um, you know, all of that stuff it'll start to do, or am I using compassion as a, um, as a mental compulsion? So it'll find the, the tricks in language, the semantics, the uncertainty. And the best thing here to do is an idea from, um, you know, the, the meditation world called recycle the reaction. So whatever happens as you do a practice, you just you use the reaction to it as something to observe and notice as well. So, you know, you, you start to do a values based exposure. You start to work your skills in the face of this difficult uh, trigger. And then your mind goes, am I doing it right? What am I doing? OK, just watch that. Notice that and then refocus on to where, where you are, what you're doing, what matters in that moment, you know, what the practice is. And then you just keep doing that. And in time, the mind will adjust and accept and it won't, it won't go after the uncertainty so much. And, you know, it's just another thing to, to learn to diffuse and watch our mind and, and make room for feelings and then focus on the present moment and what matters.